YouTubers. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look. Um, in my previous video, I talked about how the opening of this Dorman truck intake had a large protrusion or almost like a wing or a casting of some kind just inside the opening where the throttle body bolts on. I wanted you guys to be able to kind of see that. I highlighted that area that uh, greatly reduces that one side of the opening into the plenum. But airflow to support boost and horsepower is, there's no real benefit to necking down or trying to deflect air, especially, I mean, that's a pretty substantial restriction, but it's a, it's just weird. You know what I mean? Like in a airflow sense, it is a, a foil or like a deflect. There's a couple of little areas just inside of there where your throttle body bolts on that can pick up some decent numbers and uh, improve your volume of air. I wanted to give you guys a look at that before I started whittling on it. Okay guys, here's a little bit of an in-process look at what I'm trying to do here. Where before you have your outer lip where your throttle body comes on, bolts on, there was a huge step. See, that step is still there. If you guys can see where that's poking into. Here's, watch. This is flat. There's a step. That step went all the way to here. Was really tall. Probably almost this, well, probably about that tall. And it went all the way up to here. I know it's hard to see because of the shadow, but I see I've got a nice smooth transition here. I've got it here and right in here. I've still got a little work to do and then it sticks out, sticks out, sticks out right in there. I'll get all that perfectly smooth. So it'll fold a little bit more air. I'll give you a little bit more look at it here in just a minute. Okay guys, we made a little bit of progress uh, opening up that or removing that big restriction that we had there. And now I'm just kind of going around the entire circumference of the opening into the plenum. Unrestricted airflow coming through the throttle body into the plenum to be distributed. Makes sense. Uh, but I just wanted you guys to see all of that lump or protrusions been removed and smoothed all the way to the entry. Now I'll take and switch I have switched over to my sanding rolls and I will come around here and smooth everything all the way out to here. Make sure that everything is transitioned and opened up for, you know, smoothly as it can be. There was a whole bunch of casting flash sticking out into the transition to the plenum that I had to clean off. Which that's nothing. I mean, it just took a few minutes with the uh, uh, double cut burr, and then I'll smooth everything out with the sanding roll. I, I used a large flame double cut burr. I didn't even have to use any kind of release agent, no MIG tip grease, nothing, because the shavings of the plastic, you know, unless you're just doing something wrong they're not really going to melt and get built up in your tool. So as long as you just take your time, go real slow, and just kind of work it down to the shape you want, which you will learn to do if you start porting on plastic, because it's very unforgiving. When you get impatient, you can jack something up with a quickness. So hang tight, see if we can get this thing knocked out. Okay, here's the final plenum cleanup where we successfully removed that large intrusion on what would be the bottom left or bottom passenger side of that entrance to the plenum. I was hoping to get you guys a little bit better look outside in the sunlight. But I mean, it's, it's dead nuts straight 
from that inside lip of the o-ring seal all the way in flat all the way around um, I did smooth and transition that upper portion up in here I took a little bit of that out and angled it back I couldn't you can't get too aggressive with it because it's hollow back behind here so you can't you know you be careful if you guys are going to try to do this at home yourself don't just go in there and start cutting you know willy-nilly thinking you're going to make something work because these things are hollow where you at least expect it and you'll poke clean through and ruin the intake but i've got all that let me see if i can get this thing to come up a little bit i got all that material removed everything is i think i measured it final opening size was two inch 950 thousandths which I can't remember. I'll have to do the math. That's either 75 millimeter or 78. I'm not sure. But anyway, this will be more than sufficient to support unrestricted flow from that 75 millimeter or slightly larger throttle body, especially when you put it under boost with a turbo. So came out really good everything's nice and smooth i apologize my camera angle ain't that great but outside where i tried to set up this chute the wind is just too blowing too strong i can't combat the wind and be able to you know talk and have a decent video so anyway there's the entrance i have done all the work i can do um it turned out really good i'm really sad i'm happy with the way it smoothed out and the transition looks good so now i might have a few more little touch-ups i'm going to do on the entrances or i guess it would be the exits of the intake right as it goes into the uh, head and then this part of the project will be done okay guys we got a little bit of follow-up on the finished product um i've got the inner i guess the floor of the runners because you have to install the floors of the runners to the base before you can assemble the top but I'll have to get in touch with Richard because he has all the rubber gaskets for this thing but here's all the port work matched into the runners and we can set this thing up on end we can see the new uh, what I would call LS6 or the Felpro performance size opening as it comes into the head, uh, fully ported, blended, and textured on all eight runners. I got that big step removed. Everything is ready to run as far as that goes. And I think I showed you a while ago in the upper plenum. We got everything uh, finished with it. Now I've got a, to say uh, probably this evening or tomorrow. I'll finish up the throttle body and it'll be ready to rock out the door. So there's the finished product on uh, porting this Dorman truck intake. Opening up those, uh, I don't know, port openings to the runners. To the, uh, they're just shy, I mean just a hair shy of three, three inch, 340 thousandths, which is the performance Felpro height. And they are this, I believe, one inch, one uh, a little over one inch wide for the Fell Pro opening or the LS6 style, you know, the the bigger performance opening to go to the Cathedral Port heads. So I got everything smoothed, transitioned, opened up, should flow a lot more air. And of course, the plenum is done. I showed you that a little while ago. Hate to make anybody dizzy. I got it over here, sitting over here, away from where I'm working now with the aluminum. So everything's good to go with the intake. Should flow a decent amount more air. Make a good marked increase in power. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Uh, if you have any specific questions, please hit the comments up. I'm always open to answer questions in any way possible. I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Like, subscribe, and share.